Why are children's books important? Because books change lives. That's it. Books change lives. They do. They change lives. That's why they're important. And I'm not talking about last year's bestseller or this year's hot 600-page novel. Not some long-winded exposition of class or social mores. Not all seven volumes of remembrance of things past. Children's books change lives. The only difficult part of that, if there is one, is you don't, you probably won't ever, know which book it was or which kid. But who cares? Books change lives. The former National Ambassador for Young People's Literature, Walter Dean Myers, said, We all know we should eat right and we should exercise, but reading is treated as if it's this wonderful adjunct. We're still thinking in terms of enticing kids to read with a sports book or a book about war. We're suggesting that they're missing something if they don't read, but actually, we're condemning kids to a lesser life. Reading is not optional. You heard that, right? Kids who don't read are condemned to living a lesser life. A lesser life. Because books change lives. They change lives always, always, always for the better. Children's books lift kids up. They empower them. They also keep kids grounded. Books are how children escape, and they're also how kids deal with staying where they are. Books show kids how to survive and also how to thrive. They introduce children to new people, to new ways of thinking and seeing. They take them places. Children's books are an opportunity for a greater life, not a lesser one. Books don't just help kids become who they're going to be. Books make them better. They just do. And kids who read make the world better. That's why children's books are important. Are they all created equal? No. There is such a thing as a good book. But the truth is that good books come in all shapes and sizes and colors, all subjects and themes and genres. They come filled with all kinds of people and experiences and emotions and happenings, just like the kids they're meant for. And all those different books filled with all those different things offer something to all the different children who read them. Something vital. Something essential. Children's books enrich. They combine art and language in a way that is magical and timeless and relevant. Sometimes they also take children to another country or culture. But they always offer their readers potential. A chance. Opportunity. Kids with books have better opportunities, more opportunities, measurably better and measurably more than kids without. Children's books are not optional. They matter. And getting those books to kids matters. Helping a child find the book, whichever one it happens to be, the book that will make a difference, the book that starts everything, matters. Oftentimes, but not always, the book is fiction. Stories. When we say reading is not optional, when we say books matter, that they change lives, that's not just nonfiction, not just facts, but stories because fiction speaks to children. There's a reason children's book authors get hundreds of letters and emails from kids. Fiction speaks to children. Every child has felt isolated, alone. The only person in the world who this has happened to, who feels like this, who hopes for this, dreams about this. Fiction says that's not true. It happened to this character and it felt like this and then something. It's about recognition, recognizing yourself and the people around you. Fiction speaks to children. It comforts, it challenges, it confronts. It's about providing a community. And it's about starting the conversation. Because bringing books and children together starts with reading aloud, starts with questions and pointing and talking and turning the page. Starts with meeting new people, hearing their stories, sharing your own. Then it continues, but first and maybe best, Books are a conversation. Reading books is not an option. Without reading, without books, without stories, where do you go? What kind of conversations are you left with? What kind of imaginations? Who are your heroes? 
What do you dream about and where, to what and to whom do you aspire? How do you learn to think outside the box, to create, to discover, to dream, except by being given the room to do so? Inside your head, within the pages of a book, books have room, space. It's not about decoding, it's not just about literacy, that's just the first step. Children's books hold potential, the future, they're not an option. It all matters, this sentence, this title, this book. Maybe a children's book can't change the world, but it can change the reader's world. It does. And then who knows? That's why this is so important. Getting the right book to the right child, that's why being part of UBAM matters. Kids pick books because of the cover and because someone they know told them about it. Someone they know suggested it, recommended it, shared it. And it may be the one, the book. You might not know which book it is, which kid, but know with 100% certainty that you've done it. And you're going to do it again. Change a kid's world for the better. What kind of amazing job is that?